Bismillahirrahmanirrahim in the name of uh, Allah, the clement and the merciful. I must express in myself my gratitude for being part of this Congress, which is astonishing that uh, in this uh, era of, of, of the time of today, we can still uh, hear speaking about metaphysics, which in, uh, in Western Europe, if we call, or where we live, there is hardly a possibility to, to express ourselves in this deepness that I realize in all the participants of this uh, Congress, and particularly in, in Professor Hugging that I just uh, heard now, and uh, I was uh, astonished to see how this passed from, uh, from one uh, writer to another, from Evola to Guénon, uh, from, from Melchizedek to, to, to Ibn Arabi. So the possibility to have a wide range of uh, experience. And uh, we, are, we are happy to realize, as, as has been said here, that we dissident, we've been called the dissident from the modern world, have a chance to express ourselves in a country astonishing from the from the, the, the roots in the in the tradition, which give us a great example to bring back to, to Italy eventually, in in order to remove the, 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 the apathy of people nowadays and give the possibility that there is a still a chance, even between European, of course, because Russia is part of the Europe. To, to establish a renewal and a reawaken of what is the deepest uh, merit and uh, the, the deepest uh, significance of our, our being uh, here as a traditional representative of the last uh, revelation as Islam. Now, as you ask me, how come that uh, we came eventually to Islam? I like to answer, uh, to express the fact that uh, we went through, when we were 20 uh, years of age, the lecture and uh, books from, from uh, Evola to, to Guénon, and uh, we had the chance to meet at least uh, Julius Evola only twice, but once in a in his, uh, in his room and once in the university when he was already very sick. But I own him the possibility to have had the advice of meeting some representative of the uh, metaphysical uh, Islamic school in, in Europe as he found that uh, my attitude was not is enough, enough political, as he would have preferred. But uh, when a, a research of a spiritual achievement that we realize uh, is not only in the letters, is not only in the books, but must be um, uh, pervaded in the, in the practical experience of uh, one real tradition. But, and as uh, we hear here that uh, Naturally, we are in a post-traditional uh, age. In the same way, in the same way, uh, Professor Dugin gave us the example that uh, behind all the, the expression and the very sophisticated uh, uh, speech that we heard, there is a necessity eventually to to be inside one particular tradition. And by tradition, we uh, not to uh, deny any other tradition, we mean the orthodoxy in the etymological sense uh, of it. And naturally, this is the country where orthodoxy is still lived, uh, I must say, in comparison to the difficulty that we uh, have uh, in, in Italy, where uh, Christianity has uh, uh, taken a certain uh, way of uh, modernism, which is not very traditional, as we say. But naturally, our gratitude goes back to uh, René Guénon, as we call it by his Islamic name, uh, Sheikh Abdelwahid Yahya, 
when the, we took uh, his first name and we named our son uh, by his second name with the hope that uh, the presence, uh, even, even in Italy, even a difficulty that we can face, we may be able to bring back uh, the idea of a traditional in a country where Islam is not even officially recognized, as I had the chance to say yesterday in my speech, and uh, with the astonishment of the people, because the people know in a country where you live that Islam is recognized. Uh, they, are, they are Islamic uh, Russian people, and they have mosques, while we, we are hardly the, the occasion and the possibility to build, as we are trying to do, the second official mosque in Milan, where we live, as the only official mosque up to now, is the only the one in Rome, due probably the, by some political arrange, arrangement by, by the government, together with some other uh, Islamic uh, arrangement. But it sounds to us more, more as a political adventure rather than, than a spiritual one. And that's this uh, second mosque that we try to build is based on the, on the Sufi uh, teach, teaching that we have received uh, from the Sheikh Abdul Wahid Yahya in the first place and eventually from some saint that we have the chance to meet in the Far East uh, in order to bring from the real Orient, from the Far East to, to this new order and to this new Europe, uh, the, the, the light of, of the traditional uh, uh, teachings that we are astonished, I repeat myself, to have found here with you, here, where we, we have the, the deep-rooted uh, idea of uh, going back to a, a new era, which is not the new world order necessarily, but will be the, the new era in the eschatological uh, idea that we heard here, without having the chance to uh, renew uh, a world that, that is difficult to, to make it again but uh, with the help of God, of Allah, we hope that uh, the moment of the eschatology that we are all waiting for, together with our uh, brother Jews and Christian, uh, will uh, reunite us uh, with the parousia of the second coming of Sayyidina Isa, as we call uh, Jesus Christ, that we are waiting for him to come to renew really the spirit of this uh, old uh, modern world.